welcome these are horse racing selections for sunday the 3rd of december i am flat cap callum and i am hoping you are all very very well i'm here on <laughs> i wasn't planning to be but um yeah i found three horses i think decent enough at fairy house um and so although at this point in making this video um it might get abandoned due to frost um I thought it was worth doing because they're all at the same meeting. You can put them on the night before um, with no risk because then the meeting gets abandoned, you'll get refunded. Um, and if the meeting is on, um, I, I would expect all three to be a bit shorter um, come race time. So yeah, I've got a five pound bet. If you would like it, if you don't, you don't have to have it. But yeah, five pound, three horses at Fairy House, each way tricks, and singles. Um, that is that is what I've got. Um, and then I'll, I'm going to do a bit of a mention on Southwell as well. Um, so I'll, I've got a bit of time, so I'll just, bonus vid, but I'll do it properly. I'll do the review of Saturday. We had a good day Saturday, um, with the, what, what looked on paper like the risky bet. So it was 25 on, 84, 30 back. Um, which one was only on? Still got, still got old papers on here on my pad. Hang on, hang on. It's not prepared, am I? Right. It was this one. Um, <clears throat> so we had Daris, the odds on favourite, three to one on favourite went out, um, which left a 75p Raw 4 deduction, which I know some people would be like, that's awful, terrible, whatever. Um, that's the way it goes. But when you're on a horse of that sort of price, usually that comes in your favour. So 75p reduction on 40s meant that horse was 10s and it went off nearly half the price um, and was third. And You'd argue if the odds on favourite was in, it would most likely come in the first three, so we wouldn't have got a place. So that worked in our favour. Um, Luminous Light was a very, very clear third favourite. So that was uh, equivalent to 10s and 28s going on to the next one. They pulled a horse out there and they bypassed a lot of a lot of the jumps, which it wasn't ideal. I mean, I, I, I don't know what the difference would have been ultimately, but um, Hurricane Ali was no good. Um, it was a, it was a bit of a tight finish around those bends and stuff, but it didn't just didn't look good enough. But I, I, it would have made a big difference to have jumped those fences because um, it definitely did favour the horses with more flat speed. Um, and then two twenty one, that was a non runner. Lots of horses got pulled out of Bangor. There was a whole big uh, Ferrari over there about whether or not the ground was safe or not. A lot of trainers pulled the horses out, and then we were waiting on could we snag snag sixth place for Shake Em Up Harry. Um, he, jawed, he just about stayed there, nearly got collared on the line. But I am conscious not everyone would have won that. So he, uh, it needed to be on the advertised bookie Sky, Paddy Power, 365, Hills, Betfair, Unibet, Betway. So majority online bookies. What I don't know is um, if Hills and Paddy paid out in shop or not on that. I'd like to think they did, but I, I can't I can't know that. So seven of the main bookies that we follow paid it out. So it, it counts for the channel stats. But unfortunately, anyone who's... You know, betting in shop with a, a Labrooks or a Corals or whatnot um, wouldn't have got any joy with that one. It would have been a, would have been a small um, loss. So for the channel, it worked out very nicely. A ten, with equivalent to tens, twenty eights, and fifties with an on runner in the in the Canadian. So nice return on that one. Um, and second day in a row, we've managed to hit a, a jumps profitable bet. So it feels like the last three or four weeks, all we've been talking about is how the all weather's been really, really good. Um, and the jumps haven't really been getting a look in, but last two days I managed to uh, spin some places together on the jumps. And again, same as um, Friday, not a, not a winner in sight. Um, so no winners for me, but it, it is ultimately what the backbone of the channel is about. It's about trying to string these places together. Um, so, you know, look, there's lots of people out there. We'll, we'll, we'll try and tip you winners and, and maybe find a few winners for you, but Winners are a bonus in what I do, so um, it helps ultimately on long term to push the profit and loss up, but we're trying to aim to string these places together. This bet, main bet, was not so good. Um, that one <laughs> lost in the fog, it was it was doing all right, and then it faded in the fog. Uh, doing to win was almost a bit of a, bit of a, I don't know, it was an odd, it was an odd one. Um, it seemed quite comfortable, and, and Kevin Sexton even looked behind himself to see what was there. And then it just sort of pulled it up as it got into the straight. So so it appeared to go wrong. Um, but, yeah, a strange one. Um, El Dorado Allen got a place and then Starman never really got involved at all. It was a bit of a, bit of a disappointing run, to be honest. Um, so just to play single back for uh, El Dorado Allen. And then the combo doubles. We, we, uh, 
we teed it up nicely and finished it off terribly. Um, so we managed to get uh, between Cloudy Glare and El Dorado Al and Shaking My Parry, fourth, fifth, and sixth which uh, more or less all bookies paid the first five and then those seven paid out the sixth. Going on to three also just needed one of them to place them and had a really nice return on that. But absolute no joy on that one. Wajaha went from the front and faded and the other two were not really sighted. So nothing back there. So it's about £59 profit for the day, um, which puts us up up for the week of uh, first, up for this week. Um, which statistically is only the second time in channel history we've gone four weeks in a row in profit. So irrespective of the £5 outlay on Sunday, win, lose or draw, we'll have made profit four weeks in a row. And the last time that happened was February slash March um, in uh, last year. So not, not long after the channel started, we haven't managed to go four weeks in a row with profit. So um, yeah, just really pleased to be honest after such a... Like a year that's had some right troughs in it, um, we've 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 had a nice little peak, um, which is which has been great. So it helps helps all the channel stats and things. Um, and I mean, last no last November no, November last year was my worst month, and we've come out of that one like really nicely. Um, but this year, yeah, it's just been a few more peaks and troughs. We've had two months this year that trumped badly trumped anything else last November that, that was bad we had two months that were worse than that so um overall we, we you know we're nicely sort of well over 800 pounds in profit for the channel about 18 percent um and obviously since I changed the way that I'm recording the stats which means more people are benefiting from it um those are looking quite rosy as well so that is that uh the goal Frank Kennedy on oh my life I think he's it like six bogeys in the front nine something like that he's imploded bless him um so uh yeah it happens in golf so no, no joy in the golf but it was only a it ended up being a one pound 50 interest if it was channel stake so no good on that one um and then yeah that, as I think I said, there's, there's there's one tournament next week I'll look at and one the week after. And I'm also uh, probably going to put the darts bet out next week at some point. Um, so, yeah, PDC darts bet coming to you, um, which will be a Yankee or a Lucky 15 um, get players getting to the semi-final stage. So that is that. Um, and then tips and stuff I'll do do next week on the Wednesday night's vid. Um, I think I saw maybe one person had the winner of the... Of the Coral Trophy, um, one one a lot of people went in for it, and there's a lot of people that got some place money back. But I saw one person, um, maybe maybe it was two in the in the comments on that one. But there was a few on um, that horse. Was it gin? Was it gin and tonic? Something like that. There's a couple of people on that one, um, and I will flag um, Al uh, was on that one. He did write the wrong time, but absolutely, I'll give him give him the win on that one. Um, so don't worry, Al, if you're watching, you, you will we'll count that for the stats. Yes, you wrote the one ten. The horse is running in the one forty. Um, uh, it's a it's a mistake that can be made, and we'll we'll honour that as a as a win for you. So I don't know. Um, it, that probably means Al might come out on top, but I, I can't remember. I haven't looked at everything in there, but we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll confirm that. So provisionally on top, Al, uh, until I've actually checked it all out. All right, and then as far as Sunday goes, Fairy House might get abandoned. So this might be completely irrelevant, um, but I think at not night four prices, and this one's already started to go in, I thought well, I'll, I'll put them out. So three I like at, at Fairy House. Um, 12.25, Eagle Fang, 18s. Definitely could be on that for about 10s. Um, then the 125, uh, Horantzo Dari, Horantzo Dari, 28 to 1. Um, and they're both Danny Mullins, not not for any particular reason other than I like the horse and he happens to be riding them both. Um, but yeah, I think that one's that one's definitely got mileage in the price as well. And then the 310, one of the two big handicaps. So there's another good handicap, the 1255. So if you like something in the 1255, feel free to shove it in and, and make it up to a Yankee if you want to do that. It absolutely should be a race I'd be involved in the 12.55. I just couldn't find anything. I had a strong view. And I, I, I have to stay stay true to what I will always say is it just because the race is set up and it's got a good setup and it's you know five places and competitive enough from a pricing point of view, if I can't read it, I'm not going to put it in for the sake of it and just put something in, even just put something in, you know, the favourite or whatever it might be. You do what you do. This is the channel bet. And if you want to add something in from that 12.55, you do that. But 3.10 Fairy House, Sir Alain, I think that 
you can forgive its last couple of runs, and if you go back, it's actually its, it's form is should be competitive of that handicap mark. There's an interesting jockey book in um, Philip Donovan. He's he's done well for Andy Slattery this year, um, and some on some decent priced horses. So I think he think it, that's interesting. So out to Allen's only a four year old, so it's still going to improve, I think. Um, so they're the three: twenty five p each way Trixie, fifty p each way Single. So it's five pound interest. Paddy are best because Paddy and Sky both six here, but Paddy will get bog. So Paddy win out, then Sky, and then three, six, five, Coral Labbrooks, you'll get bog. But basically, every book is three, three, most are five. And then you've got two that are paying six. So it's probably likely this, this bet will end up probably on Paddy Power's top bets, um, which is uh, seemingly a bit of a, a thing that keeps at me when, when, when on days when I'm putting out one bet. Um, but it's fascinating, isn't it, right? Because I'm sure there's plenty of people, um, if you look at those top bets um, on, on like Paddy Power show it and Betfair do it, um, and it's just on, on their reel to try and attract you. And most of the time, what fills those top five most popular bets are short price accumulates, short price treble, short price Yankees, that kind of stuff. That's what's in there. there there's not many that pop up like my, my, my bets pop up. But I think what's really interesting is when... Probably people long ago would look at those and go, oh, I wonder, you know, who's putting those up there. There must be some proper money behind that if it's going in there. Just shows you some small time YouTube tipster can put something up and then lo and behold, it can be, be the most popular accumulator on the Paddy Power website. Um, so the, the, the power of the Internet's quite amazing. Um, and then once it's on there, then more people pile in and pile in. But it didn't do us any, uh, any favours at Dundalk on Friday night. So, you know. The cynical out there will say if it gets if it gets onto the show reel on there, then uh, then it's no good thing. So, yeah, the days where it, where it might appear and then disappear, I'm happier with those than it, that it stays on there right till the end. Um, but we'll see. The other thing I was going to mention was that, um, the UK racing. I don't know whether it will go on, but I didn't like anything at all other than Southwell, the the, the jumpers bumpers meeting. I've had a right rummage through it, and I've got nothing for the channel to put out there um, in terms of. It's a, it's a different kind of gig because a lot of the time there I'd be looking for more likely to be win bets. There's not a lot of each way value. There's a couple of bits, but but in, in races where you're you know, five, six runners potentially. Um, but there's nothing I'm going to put out on the channel. Um, but what I would say is that the things, if you want to look at that meeting, you want to look back at the history, the, the historical bumper form is very helpful. So you could have a horse that's going to be short priced because it's got decent hurdles form or decent chase form or it's in form that doesn't always translate so the value opportunities often present themselves at those meetings and they're really i don't remember them being many jumpers bumpers last year they, they, some years we, we you have a lot if the lot of racing gets cancelled um but yeah i find them really interesting meetings to, as, as a puzzle to try and solve to look at um because you, yeah you can't just look at bear which one's the best on hurdles and it will translate over it doesn't work like that so sometimes looking at ones with flat form, ones with all-weather pedigrees, or ones that are running bumpers, even if it was a while ago, well, that's what you want to look at. The one thing I would say for those people exploring, there's one trainer I'll put out there that I would say you want to keep an eye. He's got four tomorrow, is Neil King. He's a bit of a shrewdy in this situation. And in these jumpers bumpers, you've got to work out which trainers are putting their horse out because they just want to get a bit of a run to it. Because if you get a run in those races, it's not going to have impact on your handicap mark. So if you're a hurdler or a chaser and you run in that, whether you win, lose or draw, it's not going to, it's not going to matter. So a lot of them are just running to get a bit of fitness and get a bit of race preparation. There'll be some trainers in there that are targeting it as an opportunity to think, well, actually in this sort of situation and circumstance, when I know a lot of other horses are trying, but my horse has got some level of history, I might be able to pick up a bit of prize money that usually would be a little bit aloof. Um, so there is, a, there is a few of the top trainers and stuff sending some horses in there, but Neil King is who I would be keeping my eye on um, at there to, to, to see if he can pop up with anything. So that's all I'm going to say on that matter. All right, that's me. Um, hopefully we get these free running at Fairy House, but if we don't, it becomes a no bet anyway. Um, so uh, <laughs> you've wasted 15 minutes of your life listening for... Uh, for nothing potentially but um but there we go so hopefully we get a bit of a run for our money but that's five pound on um the channel i think we sat on i think we're 70 up for the for december um and 
I think that's probably similar. I can't remember. I think it's about the same, same amount for the week, something like that. Maybe it's a bit less than that. But uh, yeah, £5 pounds is not going to make much difference if we, even if we lose it. So we'll see. All right. Thank you very much. I will hopefully then not be back now till Tuesday night. See you on the other side. Bye bye.